Good morning. We welcome all of you who have come to celebrate the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We also welcome all St. Anthony's parishioners who are joining us today. This Mass is offered for the people of the parish. We prayerfully remember those who cannot be with us, the sick and the homebound. Altar server training is to begin in August. To register, please call the parish office. Yes, we are still selling script gift cards as a fundraiser for the parish. Please use the side doorway into the office hallway to make your purchase. Our readings can be found on page six in our parish bulletin. The celebrant of this mass is Father Elias. Please stand and sing the opening hymn, number 578, at the Lamb's High Feast, 578. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
Almighty, ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Oreb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. And see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you 
along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. None, no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draw, draw him and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from, he, from him comes to me. Not that everyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the blood of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they are dead. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Test and see the goodness of the Lord. Test and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. All the time, the Lord is good. God is good. Yes. Those who have tested the goodness of the Lord... Those who believe in the Lord know that he is sweet. He is so loving. He is always with us. He comforts us. Test and see the goodness of the Lord. Today we continue our meditation on the bread of life. 
which we started two weeks ago and which we shall continue probably throughout the whole of this month, the blood of life. Jesus, the blood of life. And it happens also to be a month when many priests who represent Jesus, we all represent Jesus as creatures and as baptized, but priests in a special way are representatives of Jesus. What they we do here in the sacraments is Jesus who is doing it. We can't claim any credit about it. So it happens to be the month when many priests are ordained. We thank the Lord for the gift of priesthood that is able to help us to celebrate the Mass and to do other sacraments to nourish us. In the first reading, we see Elijah. He has done a good job. He has defeated the enemies of God. Those who worship Baal, the false gods, so many. He has challenged them on behalf of God and told the people that they are wrong. He would have claimed a credit and he would be joyful now, in a joyful mood. But we see that he is sad. Why? Because Jezebel, a cunning lady, a queen, is hunting for his life. He has challenged my prophets, the prophets of Baal. I'm going also to kill him. And he sends a letter, kill him. And the poor man, Elijah, goes to the cave and is saying, God, take my life. Let me die. And the God tells him, come on, Elijah. I have pointed you. Your work is not yet done. Please. He gave him food. He fed him. With his word and with the food. And then Elijah wakes up and gets strength and courage and continues his journey to Mount Horeb. In the second reading, St. Paul directs the Ephesians and us to be kind, compassionate, and forgiving. As God is kind, compassionate, and forgiving. We are to imitate God as good children of his, as sons and daughters of his, in the way he loves, in the way he cares for his people. While in the gospel, we see the Jews murmuring. We saw another story of them murmuring in the desert. We would better have died in Egypt and become slaves rather than coming here and dying in the desert without food. They forget that God provided them and God is caring for them and God is with them. And so here they are seeing God among them. Jesus, he's preaching. Instead of admiring what he is preaching, they are murmuring, oh, this is an intolerable teaching. He's, he wants us to be carnivorists, carnivorists, eating flesh, unless you eat my body and drink my blood. Eh, eh. What is he saying? They can't understand him. 
They are murmuring among themselves. And he repeats. He says it three times. I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will live forever. Yes. Familiarity leads to contempt. You have heard that expression, that familiarity leads, breeds contempt. So they know Jesus. They are quoting even, are his brothers not with us, sisters? Don't we know the mother? Don't we know the father, Joseph, a carpenter? He's pretending and saying that he came down from heaven. And that anyone who eats his flesh and drinks his blood will live forever, will never die. That one, we cannot understand it. And in another text, we know that this, many of them left him. This is an intolerable teaching. And he turned to his disciples and said, you want also to go? And it is Peter who said, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe. For us who believe in Jesus, we know what it means is the Eucharist. That's why we love even priests. We love everyone, but we love priests because they represent Jesus. I like the two words which, uh, I mean, I was inspired by two words which were spoken at the Silver Jubilee Mass celebration of Father Dale. One by Gaina, bishop of there, uh, who quoting one of the things that inspired him that the devil hates the priests. Why? Because they represent Jesus. They hated Jesus. If they hated Jesus, and the priests represent Jesus, don't you expect them to hate them? And to put them down as much as possible as they can, so as to destroy the church? Yes. We have to pray for priests. And another one we was for our, uh, from our superior, Father Idra, who lives in Northampton, our region of Spiria in the United States. He quoted St. Francis, who said, if I meet an angel and a priest, I will salute first first, the priest. Why? Because even Jesus didn't come as an angel. He came as a human person, in the form of a human person. And he chose priests to represent him. My dear brothers and sisters, we need Jesus for physical life. We need food, and Jesus is the one. Also, God is the one who provides us food. We need air for our lungs. And God is the one who who gives us air. But more to that. For eternal life and for all our needs, we need Jesus. We need God more than ever may be. He is always with us, as he promised, but that we may recognize him and come to him to satisfy our deepest needs, our longing, only him, only Jesus can satisfy our deepest longings.
We need Jesus more than ever today, these days, to enjoy life and to love as God loves. We thank the Lord who has given us the greatest gift, his son, Jesus Christ, to be among us and to nourish us. And in this year of the real presence that we celebrate in our diocese, we continue to praise him and to thank him for who he is to us. We thank the Lord who nourishes us every day and who made us Christians, the believers, who gathers us every Sunday as we are here to listen, to be nourished by his word and to be fed by him on the same altar. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Spirit, the Holy God, the forgiveness of God and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one Holy God. Amen. God, who feeds us in the desert, we do not turn away from our prayers, and so we offer our petitions to him. For the Holy Father and all who serve the church, let us pray to the Lord. For nations striving to find the lost and feed the hungry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For all who seek wisdom of the Lord's word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For first responders and caregivers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For love, tolerance, and understanding in our community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. Remember the prayers on our prayer wall our personal intentions, and the intention of this Mass, the people of the parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, you give us water in the desert and food for the journey. All we have, all have come from you, your hands. We ask for you are bounty in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 724. We remember 724. <laughs> And 
still we celebrate, for you are with us here. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for oh, you so loved the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning, we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks, as in exhortation we are crying. gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, 
You give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make all these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the operation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for and pray in heaven. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant. Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, oh, 
God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, who be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and our God's peace in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Our communion hymn is number 928, Eat This Bread, 928.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. We are used in progressing, going ahead, you know, but sometimes we may go forward, you know, I mean backward in order to get some strength, in order to cooperate with Jesus. So when you see the, the priest giving all the communion with the masks, all the Eucharistic ministers, all the greeters, you know, we are cooperating with Jesus. We have to know that the enemy is still around. And if you see anyone putting on a mask, it's OK. It's OK. We don't have to be mad with those who are putting on masks, those ones who are not putting on masks. Or we are all following our directives, the directives given to us. And so let us keep on fighting. Let us know that the enemy is still around. You know? And as you see the priest, whether I or Father Keith, is there. We did love you, and we want good love even hard. But this is not a time to, to greet us when we are there. When you wave or if you are tempted and you do this, that's fine for me. For me, that's OK. Because if I do, I greet each and everyone. We, we don't know. One person, the priest can give to all people, you know, when he has greeted everyone, you know. So we want everyone to be safe, huh? you to be safe first. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Saint Michael, my friend, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness in the eyes of the devil. May God look to him who am the prayer. And do thou all the heavens and hosts, by the power of God, as in hell of heaven, and all our evil spirits, who crown our world, seeking to rule the souls. Amen. Please join in singing our recessional hymn, number 707, Let All Things Now Living, 707.